Thank you, Avinash. Here's what's happening in the region. The Grenada government says it is moving to prevent trade unions from taking strike action as the situation regarding the amount of gratuity and pension to be paid to public workers escalated yesterday. A government statement said that the Keith Mitchell administration is moving to protect people's health care at the General Hospital and other facilities should top medical officials join a call for industrial action by the Grenada Public Workers Union. The statement noted that the Ministry of Legal Affairs is preparing to file an injunction against any strike in the health care services sector, noting that there are restrictions on industrial action in essential services such as the health sector. A Princess Town, Trinidad and Tobago man who was shot in both legs by police two months ago was found dead near his home on Tuesday. Kevon Richardson, 37, was killed hours after he posted a video to his Facebook page identifying persons involved in illegal activities in the community, the Express reported. Richardson was shot in the head and his body was discovered near his home at around 1 a.m. The Jamaica government will be spending almost one billion Jamaican dollars in the final round of a National Disaster Mitigation Works program, which will lead into the Christmas season, Prime Minister Andrew Holness informed the House of Representatives. He said the works have been programmed into government's overall mitigation plan, which is being rolled out in three tranches. Internationally, a series of protests over sexual consent have been taking place in Ireland a week after a man was acquitted of raping a 17-year-old. In the trial, the defense lawyer told the jury, you have to look at the way she was dressed. She was wearing a thong with a lace front. The 27-year-old man was found not guilty of rape shortly afterwards. The controversy led one Irish parliamentarian to hold up a lace thong in Parliament to highlight routine victim blaming. Under the hashtag, this is not consent, Irish women posted photographs of their underwear in all shapes, colors, and materials to protest the use of such techniques in court. The White House has filed a memo opposing CNN's lawsuit against the Trump administration, saying no journalist has a constitutional right to access. It states the president and his staff have absolute discretion over journalists' access and interviews. The BBC reported that their memo comes on the same day numerous other media organizations, including Fox News, announced their support for the broadcaster. CNN's Jim Acosta lost his access after a fiery exchange with President Trump. A White House intern tried to take the microphone from Mr. Acosta as he tried to ask the president another question. His pass was revoked shortly afterwards, with Press Secretary Sarah Sanders claiming it was because the correspondent put his hands on the intern. Israel's defense minister has resigned over the cabinet's decision to accept a ceasefire ending two days of fighting with Palestinian militants in Gaza. Avigdor Lieberman denounced the move as surrendering to terror. According to the BBC, he said his right-wing party would leave the ruling coalition, which could lead to an early election. Eight people were killed on Monday and Tuesday as militants fired 460 rockets towards Israel and Israeli forces bombed 160 targets in Gaza. And that brings us to the end of regional and international headlines. Back to you, Avinash.